everybody. This is Guanthwe playing Elite Dangerous single player combat demo. I don't have my hands on the um, on the gamma build because I missed it. It was all sold out when I went when I went for it. But I bought it. I paid the money now. The game's coming out on the 16th of December, which is Tuesday coming up. And oh my god, I'm gonna I'm so far I'm impressed with the game. I played it a few times now, I'll play this demo a few times. Um I've been playing with the Xbox One pad, which is pretty fun, but kind of lacking the controls department. There's a, there's a lot more controls in this game than the Xbox One pad would allow. But to complement that, I have an AI assistant that's going to be running some of the systems for me. Um, yeah, I'm playing with mouse and keyboard right now because I'm just sitting in bed and... I mean, yeah, usually when you sit in bed, you're not using a mouse and keyboard, but that's how I roll. Anyway... We're gonna fight a little bit. Go until I die. And I'm probably gonna die soon because I'm using a mouse and keyboard. But yeah. This game comes out. Oh, there we go. Wake up. Initiating. Target. Alright, now I'm fighting against one simple normal enemy. This one should be easy. Got my minigun, which automatically locks on with well, the turret, so it stays locked on, and then it'll fire as long as they're ahead of me. It's a forward-facing lock-on turret thingy. Uh, ballistics wep weaponry, is it, it fires bullets. And I have my laser gun. Now, notice I'm wobbling back and forth because I'm not really that good at controlling this with a mouse and keyboard. There you go. And this right here is my beam weapon. This is just straight firing. But it does a lot more damage than, than the minigun does. Power to weapons. Let me see if this command works. Match target speed. Match speed. Nah, it doesn't work. Whoa. Here we go, here we go. Oh, yeah. Alright, alright. See this this fight right here might seem simple. It's just like we're just doing straight runs. He's running straight at me. It's because he's the level one enemy. I've only beaten the elite boss, which I'm probably gonna get up to once. There we go. Why are my shields? Oh, because he was shooting at me. Yeah, this game is gonna, is so much more immense than than I. Well, it's probably gonna be immense. I mean, they're facing the. Uh, the game around our actual galaxy. Like they're pretty much letting you run around in a simulated version of our galaxy. And it's not like they took liberties. They took some liberties, but it's not like like they actually just made up a galaxy and said, hey, this is ours, our galaxy. No. They actually took star charts that we have and made the game around it. So we're going to be flying around the best approximation of what our galaxy looks, looks like. And you can do things like, uh, what, well, make money in whatever way you can. Um, you can transport goods, you can hunt bounties. I'm getting shot at. I can hear my. Alright, power to shields. Divert power to systems. Done. See that? Now my shields are charging faster. But yeah, I can make money off of bounty hunting, killing other players. This game's a multiplayer only game, so. I think that's a good thing and a bad thing. It's a good thing because that means it encourages people to actually play online. You're not going to have a lot of people just sitting offline. The bad thing because when I don't have internet connection, I go to some people's houses with the, with the computer, I can't play. Alright, power to weapons. Power to weapons. Power to weapons. There we go, now I can fire a little bit. Let's die! Alright. But yeah, you could also be a... A pirate, so I go around stealing other people's goods and I can sell them and make money. And there's other things you can do too, I just don't really know what the whole game what the whole game has, has to it. But uh, yeah, I'm trying to think and play at the same time, and it's not easy. Power to systems. Divert power to systems. Done. Oh crap! Oh crap! How is this easy enemy killing me? Because I'm not paying attention. Boom! Done. Next target. Cycling next target. Uh, come on, who's someone behind me shooting at me? Oh boy, this ain't good. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Uh, I'm losing control. Power to weapons. Power to weapons. Diverging power to request. Not a good system. idea. Ooh, yes, next target. Next target. Next target. Alright. Uh where is he? He's behind me somewhere. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, where is he? Where the hell? Power to systems. Power to systems. Divert power to systems. Done. Uh, I'm gonna get picked apart here. Cause I can't see him. Oh shit. Shit. Not good. No! No! Don't do it. Don't. Oh. Captain alert. Shit. Same. Not I'm getting torn apart. I can't find the enemy. I'm panicking over here. There he is. Oh, I have no targeting system. This is not fair. Done. That's it. I just got killed. Woo! That's only friggin' simple AI characters. Oh, I can't wait to play online. Get better ships and stuff. Make that money. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Traveling the galaxy. Making money. Just living that sweet life. Ah. Oh. See, you know, there's been a complete lack of flight simulators for a long time. Especially space flight simulators. I mean, I had to go to act to playing consoles. I had, like, well, I grew up playing consoles pretty much, but, like, the only real... Let's, all right, let's go with, with, with a history. It started off for me with X-Wing versus TIE Fighter for Windows 95. That was my entry point to... That was my entry point to um, flight simulators. Then I played a few more... Here and there, they, they weren't that great. Like, I went to PS1. I played a few flight simulators. It was Independence Day. It was um, Ace Combat. A couple of those games. Yeah, they were alright. I, I don't like jet games as much as I like space flight. So that's why I love the X-Men vs. Cypher as much. Plus the Star Wars, and I love Star Wars so much. But there hasn't been... I had never got a chance to play X-Wing Alliance, which was like the sequel to X-Men vs. TIE Fighter. And then... Going back to console, GameCube came out and it had Rogue Squadron or Rogue Leader, N64 Rogue Squadron. I don't like the N64 version that much, but Rogue Leader, that was that was my shit. Especially that Battle of Endor mission at the end, that was the best best mission I've ever played, like just graphically and everything. Then since then, Rebel uh, Rebel Strike came out and it was just it was good. It was a good sequel, but since then there's been nothing. I mean, I played Dark Star One, I played Freelancer. And they were good. Bang Gunship Elite was good for a few minutes. That was years ago. Now there hasn't been anything really flight simulator in space in a while. This is coming out now. Elite Dangerous comes out next week. And then we have Star Citizen coming out next year sometime in 2016, I think. It's a long way off, but there is a demo. And I am going to show you guys the demo. And it's just impressive. They're two similar but different games. And I'm just, I can't wait. Anyway, guys, I've been talking enough. I was looking at a blank screen. Well, not blank screen. You guys looking at nothing. No, no gameplay. Uh, I'll show you guys Star Citizen next. And once Elite Dangerous comes out, whenever I get a chance to, I'm gonna make this a long running story. My character's gonna have his own story, and it's just it's gonna be a side project I do with this channel. I don't know if any of you guys care, but I care. And this is just this is my channel. This is my hobby. And this is what I'm doing. If anyone's interested in in, in it, just let me know. <laughs> give me ideas. I don't know. Give me some comments. Everybody. Right, Peace out.